Meanwhile, drones hovering, Google monitoring, the government censoring, and here comes Facebook to outdo them all. You hear about this? Facebook is soon going to be able to recognize you. It's writing new facial recognition technology to pinpoint you in all photos. Information security expert Ira Victor says, it's scary that so many are watching you, even recognizing you. It's even scarier that they are now identifying you. So to add insult to injury, we have Facebook pulling this stunt. Uh, is it just part of this whole evolution of technology, Ira? What's going on? Neil, good to be here. It is part of the evolution of technology, but just because we can do something with technology doesn't mean we always should. Well, and what are they able to do, Ira? And how would they use this? If, they, if I click on the computer or whatever, what, uh, if I have a camera on my laptop, what are they doing? What, what do I have to worry about? Right now, and, and I don't work for Facebook, so this is all public information. Sure. They, are, they just acquired a company, uh, Face.com, that not only identifies you and all the pictures that have your, uh, you within the Facebook and all the 900 million plus users of Facebook, but also your facial expressions, your body language, uh, whether you're happy or smiling. And then what do they do with it? Uh, what do they do? Well, it's part of this whole effort called big data. They want to they want to have synergies between all the different things about who you are and what you do and where you are. So when you're on Facebook, you are the soap, and the advertisers are buying these profiles of who you are and what you like and where you go and what you do. All right, well, that, what that's, just people... that's just creepy. There are a lot of people who put pi pictures on Facebook. But what you seem to be saying is that they would now have the ability to go way beyond that. And, and, and with this type of facial recognition software, they would be able to track you down at a bar. They would be able to track you down, in my case, at a bakery shop and be able then to pinpoint all this together and, and then categorize that for potential advertisers. Right. That's right. Advertisers or maybe employers that want to know, you know, let's say, Neil, you're you're gunning for the new uh, Fox Fitness Network and you well, might not I, want I, to have I don't all those think pictures we have of. To quite worry about that but, but go ahead <laughs> well but the, let's say in the future you, you become a fitness guru and you might not want all those pictures of you at, at the ah, different bakeries okay you, you might want to rate limit that or maybe maybe you know, I have an not evil twin. No, I don't have to worry I have an evil twin he's been spotted in fast food locales I have no idea how he gets there but I have a cover but no in all seriousness are you raise a very good point here's where I'm kind of stupid a, a legal question is can they do this I mean obviously the company the technology exists so uh, it reminds me of the debate we used to have whether Google or Apple could use these satellite images of our homes. That's ubiquitous now. They do. They are. So I would imagine this will fall along the same path. Well, they can. The question is, do people have informed consent? Look, Facebook and, and, and Dropbox and Google and all these big data companies, they're all gunning for synergy to mix all this data up in new and still uninvented interesting ways. The question is, what's the, what has the pattern been in the past of these companies in terms of, of informing the users so that the users know what's going on? So maybe someone today has a friend taking their picture, drinking mar you know, a whole bunch of margaritas at a bar. That ends up on Facebook. That's got facial recognition. Now, five years from now, that person wants to go be a delivery driver. And, a, and an employer says, oops, I'm sorry. We see lots of pictures of you drinking five years ago. So the question is, do people have informed consent? And I'm not really sure. And, you know, when, when somebody points a smartphone at you and takes a picture of you, you may want to think twice and say, hey, if you're going to post it on Facebook, I'm going to step out of the shot. Or please delete that because I don't want you to post that on Facebook. You need to be skeptical. You can't just assume that just because something is innocent that it won't hurt you because it just might. This is really creepy stuff. Ira Victor, thank you very, very much. Um, we'll watch it very closely.